Hey guys, it's Lori. Hope everyone's doing okay. I wanted to do a quick video, although I don't think it's going to be very quick because um, I did some shopping this weekend um, and I received a couple of packages in the mail. <coughs> so I wanted to share it with you. But first I wanted to um, show you something that I received from another YouTuber. Her name is Gail. And her YouTube name is Gail Bear. I will leave it down below. Um, Gail, thank you so very much. It is so nice to meet such wonderful people on YouTube. On YouTube, so caring and sensitive to our feelings. And um, I just wanted to say thank you so very much for your um, your rack. Um, Gail had <clears throat> I don't know. A couple of months ago when that whole cuddle bug mania thing was going on, there was a couple of cuddle bugs folders that I wasn't able to get and um, Gail happens to live in Arizona too and um, so she checked out a few stores by her and she was able to pick me up a couple that I did not have so um, she sent them to me and she also sent me a little package so but I wanted to read her card because it's so beautiful and you can see she's made this beautiful card with the butterflies and I just love butterflies so she wrote hi Lori my deepest sympathies to you and your family at the passing of your beloved Bella my prayers are with you if you need anything please let me know hugs Gail thank you so much Gail those words were just beautiful and I so appreciate your friendship um, and I was so surprised because I was just expecting the cuddlebug folders that I that she got me. So, but she snuck in a few things, so I thought I'd share with you guys. She got me this beautiful stamp for you, Valentine. Isn't that nice? And Gail, you know, I don't have anything that's Valentine related, so this is perfect. With that, and then she got me these clear stamps. These are for Easter. I don't have any Easter stamps either. Although you probably know that because you watch my videos. So I got that. And then this pretty heart. And will you be mine and happy Valentine's Day. And then, oh, I was so excited when I saw these because I don't have any of these little roses. So they're like a, like a lilac with pearl and some tool. I don't know if I'm blurring this out or not, but look how beautiful that is. So she got me that. And she got me these cool tickets. And then um, she got me this beautiful ribbon and lace. You know, Gail, when I opened this up the other day, I was like, oh no. <laughs> the bug bit me. So I had to go out and buy some more. <laughs> but look how beautiful this is. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's like a, it's not white. It's like a, um, it's like an off-white, ivory maybe you call it. But it's beautiful. So she got me that. And look how pretty that is. That's just stunning. You have to let me know where you got this. So I got that. And then she got me the big wide one. Isn't that gorgeous? And then she got me this die cut that says Hope. And these cute little hearts by Heidi Grace. And then she snuck in a couple of these grunge board by Tim Holtz. And you know what? I don't really know what to do with these, so if you guys can give me a suggestion. I mean, I know I can ink them and whatnot and put them through the, dime, the cuddle bug machine. Um, but if anyone has any ideas, I would love it because, again, you guys, I am just starting out recently with crafting and I just love to get and see new techniques and get ideas from you women. So thank you. So we got that. And then she got me these really pretty epoxy word and quote stickers. If I found that, 
if you love life, life will love you back. And this is so very true. Let your light shine. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. So, very pretty. Thank you so much, Gail. And these were the two cuddle bug folders that uh, Gail had picked up for me. And I don't have this one, so I was pretty excited. And then um, I got the stitched squares. So I don't have this either. So thank you so much, Gail, um, for picking those up for me and for this beautiful, generous rack. Um, I am so appreciative. And um, like again, and if anyone has any ideas on um, techniques to use with orange board, I would really appreciate it because um, I'd like to start using it into my crafts. So I'm going to check on my time because I have quite a few things to show you. So hang on. All right, I got I got a few more minutes. Okay, um, this is from eBay, and I forget the seller, but I will leave it um, in the comments down below. All right, let's see. I picked up the Sizzix Bone and um, Dog Bowl, so being that I have my, my doggies, I needed something like that. Then you guys, I discovered this really cool craft store. I don't have any local crafting um, scrapbooking stores by me. I found this one in um, Peoria, and it's called Crop Girls, which I thought was really cool. So I had to take my son to hockey on Saturday, so I decided that I was going to drop him off while he played, and uh, Mommy was going to go shopping. So I went, I went and found this place, and I was just in my glory it was just big and there was a class going on and the women there were so nice um very helpful answered any questions that i had um so i plan on going back this weekend on saturday because they have the accucut die cutting machine and they had the coolest dies and you can actually use them. Um, they only charge $2.50 for half an hour. And you can bring your own supplies. You don't have to buy from them in order to use it. So, and I have loads of chipboard that I like to cut. Because this is one recipe mini book that I want to make for my niece for her uh, bridal shower. So I'm going to go back this week and I'm going to cut a bunch of it. And when I do, I'll bring it, you know, back obviously. And I'll share it with you guys. So, hold on, let me check the time again. You know what? I'm going to go to a part two because I don't want to get cut off showing you my goodies that I picked up. So hang tight, guys. Bye.